So, fun bird fact, the turnstone is a shorebird known for flipping over rocks to find food. The Osprey Heritage turnstone, however, is not a bird. This is a large 42 liter clamshell style travel backpack. I think Osprey sold them short on the dimensions. It's listed at 21.3 by 15 and a half long. However, the way I have it packed out here, it's about 21 on the length and just slightly over 14 on the width. They have the height listed at 11 inches. However, I have it fully packed here at about nine, including the backpack straps. Like the other Osprey packs I've been reviewing, this hardware is solid, 500 denier, water resistant nylon, these large number 10 non-locking YKK zippers, and then huge nylon buckles and adjusters. The packing style in this bag is really simple, just a large clamshell style opening, two sides that are almost the same size, separated by mesh dividers. And because it's almost a max carry-on size, two of these 10 by 14 packing cubes fit perfectly on either side of the bag. These are Eagle Creek, this is the isolate compression and reveal expansion. The other side of the pack is great for bulky gear. This mesh divider is gonna keep stuff from shifting around too much. Puffy jacket, water bottle. I have shoes in this five liter dry bag doing double duty as a shoe protector little packing cube, towel, and day pack. The exterior organization is all right here. Large front organizational compartment and the laptop compartment, both side access, setting this bag up to work like a briefcase. The laptop sleeve is pretty basic. It's a thin piece of foam on the front as well as the back. There's a little sleeve in here. This thing is gonna hold up to a 17 inch laptop. This is a 15 inch Dell. The sleeve will keep it away from the sides of the pack. However, this thing does not have a false bottom. And there's only one organizational pocket. It's this large front pocket. There's a few sleeves in here, a couple divider pockets, pen and pencil, a little key leash. And then I'll show you from the side, this thing doesn't have its own volume. So you can pack a ton of gear in this pocket, really jam this thing full. You could even fit a full size one liter water bottle in here but just to demonstrate, the more stuff that you put in this pocket, the farther it's gonna stick out on the front of the pack. The carry system is identical to the Scarab I reviewed earlier. It's got great backpack straps and a hip belt and it would be very comfortable, the only exception of the firm back panel. Straps, three inches wide at the top, taper down, has some decent padding, nice adjustable sternum strap. I would say these are moderately padded hip belts about six and a half inches long, thin padding, this thick nylon strap with a huge buckle. These are both stowable, the backpack straps, unclip with this little clip and can tuck in on the top. Well, the hip belts are gonna tuck in on the sides. This is what it looks like with the straps all tucked away. And again, this would be a decent carry, except this back panel here is really just a firm foam pad with the nylon backing. And then it's worth noting, you can use the backpack straps without the hip belt with these things tucked away. However, they don't stay put nearly as well as they do on the Scarab. It's actually not as uncomfortable as you think that it might be, considering it looks like you're just carrying around a giant rectangle on your back. These shoulder straps are decently padded. They're nice and curved. They fit comfortably. And this waist belt does a great job without being too bulky. It does lose points, however, for not really having any kind of back padding or air ventilation. Two alternate carry methods are this small handle on the side. It kind of has a wraparound button on clip. It does have some padding on it, but it's not very thick. And then the shoulder strap, which clips into these little fabric loops on the corners. It's kind of awkward to get it in there. And once you do, you are treated to an unpadded two inch wide plain nylon strap. And while this thing works in the pinch to carry the bag like a briefcase without any padding on here, this isn't really gonna be the way you're gonna wanna carry the bag around. This rectangular shape can be a pro or a con, depending on if you like the look of the bag. It does have a cool 1970s retro pack look and the interior is just a huge capacity and it's really easy to pack. The carry system is decent. The shoulder straps are good. I just wish that they had some more padding on the back panel. That is the Osprey Heritage 
Turnstone Bag Not A Bird Pack Pack Review. If you have any questions in this pack, hit me up in the comments below. And again, thanks for watching.